hello friends today in this video i am going to discuss another important example on 8051 assembly language programming and the question is perform once complement and twos complement of a given number in 8051 okay so you have to write the corresponding assembly language code okay not c programming code so how to do once complement just a quick recap just i am giving suppose one hexadecimal number 25 h is given so first you convert this number into binary what is the rule to convert hexadecimal number into binary uh, take each number and convert it to corresponding four digit uh, four bit binary four bit binary number okay like here two so four bit binary representation of two is zero zero one zero five five uh, the representation of five in four bit binary number is zero one zero one and write that and we can get the binary representation of 25 age okay now to perform the once complement what we do we just invert or complement each bit okay see zero so one then zero so one then one so it is zero then zero then it is one and so on for both the higher higher nibble and lower nibble that is for the whole uh, eight bits you have to just complement okay and see what 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 will be the value after uh, if you convert this uh, once complement number into hexadecimal one one zero one what is that d right 13 now and a this one zero one zero means 10 so a so d a h so if you for once complement of 25 h you will get a d a h yeah so let us directly go to kill microvision software and let us try to execute that code okay so what is the rule okay before going to that i will just write here the code for once complement okay so code for once complement what is the rule sorry here pl will be there complement okay now what is the line first line obviously or 0, 0, 0, 0, h next line will be what load the value in the accumulator move a comma hash hash indicates in immediate addressing mode right 25 just we discussed with 25 h so i am loading 25 h value so 25 h then then see what we are doing in once complement in once complement basically we are complementing each bit so just write you know what is the command cpl complement each bits of the accumulator clear and end and the result will be stored in the accumulator so hope that this code should work just copy and paste in kill microvision software then save translate see in translate there is zero error zero warning okay cool then rebuild and then go to debug okay and see the register banks is open i will show you go to view and from view here register window is there you can check from here okay now you perform single step execution let's perform single step execution and check what happens in each line so first line a will be loaded with 25 h see a is loaded with 25 h in the next line if you perform CPLA, see A is loaded with DA. I hope you can see DAH. Okay. If you are unable to see, then no issue. I shall post the same code in the description of my this video. You can copy from there and paste it in your kill microvision software and check what is happening. Okay. So A is loaded with DAH. So DA is basically the once complement of 25H. Clear? I hope it is clear to you see a is showing da okay now we have to perform two's complement so see 25 h what how what is the rule or algorithm to perform two's complement two's complement of a number is one's complement plus one right but there is a shortcut as you know so see the re binary representation of 25 h is this one so what we take we take the same 25 h binary representation is this one now we are performing two's complement so what you do after the first one you just complement all the bits up to the first one from the left hand side you just keep the bits unchanged okay so see 
who, where is the first one from the left hand side in the binary representation of 25H? See, here is the first one in the LSB itself. So just keep the LSB as it is. See, LSB I am not changing. Then LSB onwards complement just all the bits. See, here 0, so here 1. Then here 1, so here 0. Then here 0, so here here uh, the uh, first second third fourth bit is zero so see here first second third fourth bit is one and so on okay okay so this is basically the two's complement of 25 age now what is the hexadecimal representation one one zero one 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 zero one is what 13 then d right and one zero one 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 zero one one means 12 so sorry one zero one one is 11 so that is B. So two's complement of 25 H is D B H. Okay. So how to perform uh, get the result in uh, kill my coefficient? So port for two's complement. What is the rule? O R G 0, 0, 0, 0, 8. This is obviously the first line. Then move a comma hash. 25 h the number which i want to get the two's complement move that to accumulator then rule is once complement plus one so once complement is cpl a that's all right but here you have to add one with the complement a so add a comma hash zero one okay that, that that is okay if you want to write h then okay be, otherwise leave that because hexadecimal representation of one and decimal are same if you don't write something the 8051 will take as decimal value then also no problem okay now just write end so this is the code for two's complement of 25 h hexadecimal value let us copy the code from the kill microvision uh, from the microsoft word and paste it in the kill microvision and check what is happening so paste Okay, save, translate, again 0 error, 0 warning, very good. Now then, we'll reveal, then go to the debug, then okay. And now, in this time, I am not doing single step execution, I am pressing the direct run. So C, A is loaded with, now D, B, H. Okay, so see what... So basically, two's complement of 25 H is D B H. See what we are getting in, by theoretical manner D B H. So two's complement is performed in such a way. I shall post the two codes in the description of my this video. Very important note, and this you should remember that CPL A. CPL is basically such a command which is applicable for bit addressable locations and as well as byte addressable locations but there is one main difference which you always should keep in your mind that cpl in byte case that is complement if you want to perform in byte then it only works on accumulator so whenever you want to complement all the bits of a byte addressable location then first you have to move the content of the byte addressable location in the accumulator but if this happens in case of bit then for any bits it need not be only the carry bit okay or carry flag for any bit you can use this cpl operator okay you just keep this thing in mind so that whenever you want to perform once complement or two's complement of a number first move the content or move the number in the accumulator of 8051 which is 8 bit register which holds all the uh, uh, performance result of the arithmetic and logic unit okay so you should keep in this mind but for bit addressable position this is not required for any bits you can perform complement it need not be carry flag okay this is all for my this video i hope these videos uh, these small small programs uh, from my this video will obviously help you to understand uh, the concepts of 8051 clearly so always i say that whatever you learn in uh, your theory concept perform in to a, perform the same concept through a small code in kill microvision and check the registers on uh, sp um, that is a stack pointer or a prog uh, program status word or etc etc okay so in this way you can build your 8051 concepts uh, with a very good potential so this is all for my this video thank you for watching